tuning in to my official YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel and remain subscribed, of course. And then also uh, like this video and watch other videos through my official YouTube channel. Go to my website, www.susanneeling.com. So um, I'm going to talk about a different topic in this particular lecture. First off, remember it's a lecture because there's no actual discussion in person, face to face in person. There's also no back and forth in regards of because this is just a lecture. I know that at certain colleges and certain universities, they have given over the decades a viewpoint to individuals that they consider it a discussion and yet at the same time, a definition of, it's not a discussion between the professor or, you know, in my case, just me, um, and the actual class. And in that particular reference, unless when in person, face to face in person, having discussions, you're like, ooh, 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 you know, talk, think, think, that, that's, that's not how that goes. So this is a lecture keep that in mind. So um, that's, that's an important factor because a discussion, for example, with two people, they converse back and forth. And this is just a lecture. So all of my official YouTube channel videos, for the most part, are videos of just me lecturing you. As far as different knowledge, understanding, comprehension as well as varying examples of proverbial aspects, metaphors, and experiences so that you can actually understand from that knowledge that these official YouTube videos on my official YouTube channel are lectures. That's how that is. So um, in this particular official YouTube video, I'm going to discuss Differences in time. People have heard of military time. Well, military time is a 24-hour clock, which is the way it is on Earth. For example, right now, the 15th of April, 2022. Now, there is the term a New York minute. Well, it depends on what part of New York. If you mean New York State, well, it depends on what part of New York State. If you mean New York City, which is usually what is referred to, however, it's New York City in comparison to New York State. And so a New York City minute is different than a New York State minute in that particular reference of clarifications. Similarly, in regards of the way lecture versus discussion. And so in a New York City minute, it's better to be early than it is to be on time, because if you're on time, you're late. Similarly though, it's in business, depending on the type of business you're in, but New York City is infamous for that. Um, and then there's also the aspects of the reality that there's Eastern Standard Time, there's Central Standard Time, there's Pacific Time, there's Hawaii Time, there's Greenwich Time, so on and so forth around the world. So then you get into time in a distant sort of way. Well, there's light years. That's an example, especially since the formation of the U.S. Space Force, though there's also been the elements of NASA, which has been known for decades, or known of for decades, then you have the standards as far as what is considered time of importance. So if something is important to you or someone is important to you, you make the concerted effort to actually inform in a correct and 
respectful manner with etiquette as to that time of importance. And what you accomplish within that time shows that level of what is considered as importance. So you have different examples uh, depending on your own life. In reference to my life, I can give the examples of everything that I did for my son and my daughter. So my son was born in the year of 2000. My daughter was born in the year of 2002. I personally had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. And when I was pregnant and carried them to delivery, I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. Despite the other factors of what I was dealing with, in those situations which I, I mentioned the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain that took eight and a half years in full to completely dissipate out of the MRI and CAT scans. It took about four, four and a half years before it started to show signs of improvement. However, that was the biggest and most important factor for people to pay attention to. So instead, what I dealt with were people who asked, well, how long or what was the amount of time you were in a coma? I don't know. I was in a coma. The aspects of my medical records, those who know how certain military factors are, what paperwork I could get from both Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and Fort Sam Houston, well, there's varying times. And then there's also the facts of, well, if I woke up at some point and then went back into the coma or however, I don't know. That wasn't ever explained to me. That would be considered as common sense, but it is what it is. The paperwork I found, though, is anywhere between six to nine months in those references. Then, or weeks, I apologize, weeks. <laughs> Time, depending on who you are though, what seems as five minutes to one person, if they're enjoying themselves, to somebody else, it could seem like hours if they don't actually enjoy what they're doing. Uh, think of your employment, what do you actually enjoy? as far as that's concerned. There's the saying, time flies when you're having fun, in comparison. So in the time frame for the example of my son and my daughter, uh, despite the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain, so from 2002 to 2012, I have very much clarified as much as I could do for my daughter while also taking care of my son, despite the situations that occurred during those time frames. In reference to 2001 through 2019, I did what I could, and I've explained that as well, as to doing the best I could for my son, while also doing what I could for my daughter. And in the subsequent aspects, other individuals that I may have known in whatever capacity of, in whatever comparisons, in person, face to face, in person. As well as knowing that there were certain factors as to my personal situation and or my son's personal situation and or my daughter's personal situation that others could relate to possibly here and there. And so in the time frames of more specifically 2000 into 2001 and 2002 through onward to 2019, you have different explanations as far as my website www.susanmealing.com where you can see that and what is considered time. Well, there's another aspect as to what is considered time. Is time a linear aspect? My biological father was certified by the school of Baloba. Of course there's the linear factors. However, when you take in consideration NASA and the United States,
United States of America Space Force, plus other space programs such as their SpaceX, Blue Origin, there are plenty of other companies within the United States of America and around the world or in our solar system of the Milky Way galaxy from what is known, the planet Earth, that has varying space programs and everybody calculates time depending on what is time. And so, my biological mother, she had done information technology. Well, those who remember Y2K, as far as the year of 1999 more specifically, well, what is time? Time, at that point in 1999 especially, there were the uh, reports that the computers were going to have issues in reference to converting the year to 2000 because there wasn't ever a point in time that they said that there was the double zeros in those references. Well, in truth though, that would only be in the civilian sector because of the facts of taking in consideration how long does it take to actually formulate a group in the agencies within the United States of America. How much evidentiary proof is required before being capable to bring the idea forward to Congress and Senate before it could be approved by the White House. What is the amount of details that are required? Well, what is the year that NASA was formed within the United States of America? Take that into consideration. You can view something as simple as the Army branch of the United States of America. When was the United States of America officially formed by the Declaration of Independence in reference to time? 1776 is what most people know. And yet there's the facts of the American Revolution and other situations. And then what is considered the space because you take in consideration the United States of America, well, it was officially formed by the Declaration of Independence. However, when was the first president of the United States of America officially? That's one example that you can take into consideration in reference to agencies in the United States of America, but also remember, that was during the 13 original colonies. That's before people explored the United States of America with and without the Native Americans of the land. So you have to take that into consideration as well. And then here's another example. When did the United States of America purchase Louisiana? When did that occur? And there's the other situations as far as more commonly known history as well as lesser known history to take into those particular factors. And so when the United States of America had purchased Louisiana, I believe that was in the 1800s. Well, what length of time did that take? What were the contributing factors that are known? And then also take in consideration, how did they know what time was? How is it that it was known back then that the time, as far as the date, the month, and the year, back then, as to what is considered the year of the century? So when you take that in consideration as to what is time, I suppose it depends. What is the date of the first officially copyrighted public
polished book compared to scrolls that have had to have carbon dating, where modern times of the more known aspects of have been capable to give dates. And they can't even give specific dates. They can give a rough estimate as to how many hundreds or how many thousands of years ago in comparison. So what is time? Is time in that linear factor for the example of the 15th of April 2022 or is time considered the age of the earth from its formation but how do we know as human beings is that actually the actuality of because there's the uh, differences in reference to string theory and the big bang theory personally I believe you can't have one without the other that's my personal opinion. I don't believe that you can only subscribe to one. I personally believe that the Big Bang Theory and String Theory were at the exact same time. So uh, the best metaphor that I could give is um, a ball of yarn that's circular. But something cataclysmic occurred at the exact same time of the formation of that ball of yarn. Boom! All in one. That's the only metaphor I currently have. I've made attempts to explain that to certain individuals I've known throughout the decades, and, well, those who have known people. <laughs> Maybe there's a reference point of, you know, it, it's the age old question of which came first, the chicken or the egg? Same thing. So, because you have a chicken that's technically inside of an egg, but it takes the chicken to lay the egg. So, that's sort of irony of irony. I'm like, out of thin air, you're capable to do certain things. And it depends on those particular factors. So you have different individuals that have different capabilities depending on, and they could give you their references of time. So for example, if Nikola Tesla was still alive right now, he'd give a different reference of time in comparison to someone such as E equals MC squared, as I call him, uh, but you know, I, I, I don't think I've actually met him. <laughs> Maybe I have, I don't know. But uh, I, I refer to Elon Musk as E equals MC squared, but then take into consideration Albert Einstein, the theory of relativity. Well, what is relativity to time in those particular references? Then you have, you know, Mr. Bezos or Jeff Bezos in regards of Blue Origin and the time that it took. What would he consider time? Two of them. What would they consider as time? Is time linear? Is time per project? Is time per business endeavor? Is time per business? What would that be considered as in those references? Is time considered the educational aspect? If so, what part of the educational aspect? So time, truly, it depends on. In my personal opinion, and those who know my different social media accounts that I've officially gone over, again, you can go to my website, www.susanmealing.com. I, I usually post the most on my website now, www.susanmealing.com. Uh, and yet, there's also the factors of, there's my official YouTube channel, there's my original Facebook account, which is Dark Lily, but um, there were certain situations which I've explained in my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, as well as in the Modern Day book which clarifies certain factors in finding a silver lining and finding the silver lining, 
all of which you can find on my website, www.susannewling.com. But then there's that, the internet. What is time? If you take in consideration way, way, way back when, which some people might not be alive from those time frames, but there are those in this year of 2022 who remember dial-up, as far as that's concerned. There are those who remember actual, actually using dial-up, such as AOL or America Online. And Net Zero is another one. That's a, another factor as to what is considered time or information. But by that point in time, pun intended, that the general public was allowed AOL and allowed Net Zero. What did other areas have? They had cable fiber optics. Because you know the progression of time or in those references, or you are capable to look it up, the history of. So it started with dial-up. Similarly to phone lines, they started with landlines where you dialed that and you called into the operator and the operator did as had been done and switching around the different things and plugging everybody in together. And they started with party lines. Then it developed in reference to landlines to individual house phone lines and in reference to the internet and the general public way, you had the dial-up. So you can review that as far as AOL and Net Zero for that reference of a party line, but on the internet for a metaphor. If you understand those metaphors, then you take into consideration Cable fiber optics. Well, cable fiber optics would be the equivalent of a landline phone inside of a house. Now, certain people that I've known, I haven't personally had this in my second house, not my first house. There was the capacity to have an intercom system. I just couldn't ever figure out how to use it. It was a it was an older house, and that was built in the nineteen. 70s or 1980s, if I remember correctly. And that was an intercom system within the house. Then, you know, you take those into consideration as far as different factors. When you go from the phone lines to cell phones and, well, pagers as well. And then the internet when in the general public way, yet again, gotta clarify that, then it went from cable fiber optics to Wi-Fi. What is time? Is time considered the length of time or is time considered history? So then when you get into social media, you take a look at different posts and depending on the website, depends on what you can post. So on Facebook, you can post fairly lengthy aspects, up to, I think it's 8,000 characters. <laughs> I learned. That might not be surprising for some people who have read my posts on other social media platforms. <laughs> or my journal blog, especially the Ordinary PSA, on my website, www.susanbelink.com, and the same thing in reference to that life and those particular references as far as different writings, <laughs> whether the journals or the, the different forums. <laughs> I didn't ever pass those out, though. I, I can say that, so, you know. Um, <laughs> not that I'm aware of. I didn't ever get the notification the same way. <laughs> but then you have Twitter, and you have 160 characters, or it's going up, it, it went up to maybe 240 or 180 or something like that. 
So you have those references. And then there's the memes. Some people say it however they say it. I call them memes. And, and, <laughs> and a meme, for those who know, is a picture that usually has a few words on it. It's the equivalent of Twitter in certain references. Because you can only fit so many words on one little what have you as far as the picture is concerned where it's not overwhelming or <laughs> it's not just a writing. <laughs> and then you have such as this as an official YouTube video where I'm currently recording the lecture portion and when you go to watch and listen as far as that time. Well, in regards as what could be taken into consideration, YouTube has the capacity of the length of videos. There are individuals who are capable to listen and or watch more than one video at a time. Security guards, they're accustomed to that. That's part of their employment, depending on where they are employed. So those who watch the, you know, the multiple television screens of the different areas. They are accustomed to that. They're trained to be accustomed to that, to pay attention to those details and zoom in as needed. Well, what is time? Is time considered one video? Is time considered two videos? Or is time considered in those references of however many televisions as far as the recordings for security cameras. So for a reference of a hotel room, or I shouldn't say that, a hotel location, well, there's the hallway cameras usually on the way to, there's whatever in regards of whatever technology, hypothetically, because what is the difference of a screen regarding a cell phone screen or a computer screen or a tablet screen to a digital clock screen. What is the difference? So what is, when you take into those considerations, you have the lobby area, the business area, the offices, so on and so forth, the parking lot areas, the exterior structure, the rooftop usually, to just a few reference points. Then if you have the key card in comparison to an actual key to a hotel room, then you take that into consideration for those factors. What is time? Is the time the time frame of just the check-in? Or is the time what it is to get there to check in? Or is the time that plus getting to the room itself? Or what is the time in those references? So in regards of the difference between memes, and you have a few official YouTube channel videos of mine that you can look through to see the different timestamps as far as you know, some could be a few minutes and a few seconds. Some can be over an hour and a few minutes and a few seconds. I think that's the longest I've gotten to at this point for my lectures, especially. So in those regards, well, how long does it take some people to look at a meme before they process that information? Some can look at a meme and like that. And have been since they've been. Others, or been exposed to seeing them, I should say. Others, sometimes it takes a bit more time to process whatever the words are in those references. So what is time? Is time in the philosophical sense where what is the time within the universe compared to the time within the Milky Way galaxy compared to time within the solar system? Because take in consideration, what is the time for one planet to rotate?
rotate around the sun? What is the time for whatever moon or moons to rotate around whichever planet? What is the time in that particular reference to the distance of? What is the time that it takes for certain particulars to travel? So what is time? So when you take in consideration the meanings for that particular reference, what length of time does it take to process that? Then, what in reference to, for example, if you combine pictures with memes? Not in regards of how memes have the, the words with the pictures, the meaning when you go to an album. So if you go to a, a photo album on Facebook or FetLife or Twitter or whatever, as far as the specifics of where you just see the pictures, it's not a movie or a video. It is a bunch of whatever combination of. And in that timeline of pictures, you know what the dates are because of the digital formatting. But what is the digital formatting? Is it in Greenwich time? Is it in the uh, area of the company? Is it in the area, and which company? Is it in the area of the internet company, in the area of the social media company, in the area of wherever the meme was com completed in those references, or in combinations with pictures? And then, when were the pictures taken? And so all those particular factors combined in one, what is that viewpoint? Because you can see in an overall sort of way when you do a scrolling aspect in a more distanced viewpoint as to the care and concern. What is considered as? Depending on what social media platform you go to, depends on what was posted. So then, when you take in consideration how movies or videos or television shows are recorded, it is certain similarities when you think about it. For those who remember, uh, who remember or have seen those flip books where you actually see in your hand as you slowly turn the pages, but you don't do it one by one, you see it in that sort of a time frame. And it could take something this thick over an inch and a half, and it goes by in maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute and a half, depending on how you through the pages. So when you take that reference point of the Mimi factor to the taking a step back viewpoint, how would it be considered different than that flip book page compared to what is the difference in regards of television shows or movies or streaming videos? What is that? What is time? In those references. So when you additionally take in consideration space travel, which you know NASA and US Space Force would know those particular factors and the arithmetic equations, what you need to take into consideration as far as the different components making up the different pieces of what area would be most ideal? What are the weather conditions? Are the winds at what velocity rate? Is there a cloud nearby? What is the cloud going to do? And no, I do not mean in reference to storage space. Pun intended though. And so in those particular references, what is time? Because in reference of uh, space launches, for an example, if the oceanic area is nearby, is it a high tide or a low tide? Or is it an in-between tide when the individual factors are taken into consideration? What are the average wind speeds for that aspect? What is the weather at the time frame of? Why is that important? Why would the weather even be considered important at all in those references to that? 
well, I'm sure NASA <laughs> and the Space Force could give better explanations in those references. Same in regards of airplane pilots and airplane companies. The training that it takes to fly. What is time? So when you take a look at vehicles, what is time? Miles per hour or kilometers per hour? Well, what is distance when you take those into consideration? And so if you go into scuba diving, I personally earned 26 scuba diving certifications. What is time? Is time in reference to your actual scuba dive? Or is time in reference to your depth? I have made it a point where I had to land at the bottom of wherever I was for each and every scuba dive. It's a thing. It, everybody has their ways and those references. I personally had to do it my way because I am as I am. And so each hot spring, each quarry, each lake, each area of the ocean that I went to for each and every scuba dive, I personally made the choice. I did the research. I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications. I had also grown up swimming in the Atlantic area of the ocean. I had done a lot of work as a child. I had been invited to Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment. There are the situations how that went. Nonetheless, I have a, a smidgen of a background. The Coast Guard is trained out in Cape May, apparently. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> I'm at a Coastia time or two. <laughs> Somewhere in New Jersey, as teeny tiny as the state is. But what is time in that reference compared to New York City? Compared to New York State? Well, it depends on whether you're on the tollway, the turnpike, or the side streets. <laughs> it depends on that time. It really does, and, and time is money, especially in New Jersey. <laughs> there is, that, that's the, that is the most expensive time in most areas for the length of distance and um, <laughs> the tolls themselves. <laughs> the most expensive. I, I believe that there have been other states that have been trying and making attempts in certain references, but think about that. They've been actually doing that where it's the equivalent of these two houses in Freehold. They literally compared their um, electricity bills for the month in regards of Christmas lights. And they would actually compare that. I'd be like, oh yeah, well I spent you know, I think one time, I think the record was, because I knew people in the area, and, and these two had whatever as far as it was concerned, and so one had referred to, I think the the top was somewhere around like over a thousand dollars. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Not that I did this. Um, although I actually did because I was in Sunday school at the time when I found out. Excuse me, what do you mean they spent over a thousand dollars? Like there, 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 was it over a thousand dollars in, in total or in comparison to what the prior month had been? And, and it was just for in reference to the difference for the rest of the normal state for the house and it's like so they they have uh, huh okay okay cool 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 <laughs> i don't i yeah that's that's what they that's huh okay so you know and there's <laughs> just just pointing that out there and so <laughs> 
childhood that I had, it was very difficult for me to process that. And it's like, what would it be as to actually have that level of finances to actually be capable to do so and it not affect anything at all in life whatsoever? Meaning you could take care of everything at the drop of whatever, still go do whatever, have the storage. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that goes. <laughs>
sensation of when, and you know, I had Mike, who was usually driving, my biological father, and I was kind of like, well, you know, he drives fast. I know he drives fast because any time, <laughs> I know the difference when he drives. <laughs> because when he drives, there's, there's no hesitation. When Anna drives, you know, the six hours seems pretty accurate, you know, because, of, you know, the car went, you know, Patricia didn't have that. My biological little sister does not know what it is back then. She may have later. <clears throat> she also probably listened to Mike. <laughs> So way, way, way back when, there was a few times when Anna drove from our house in New Jersey out to New York City, and then she freaked out in the Holland Tunnel. That is not the area to have a panic attack. <laughs> That is the worst area to have a panic attack. As anybody, it, you, it doesn't matter what year, even if you haven't been to the area and you know what the Holland Tunnel is or know of people you could ask about the traffic, this was in the 1980s. <laughs> and she had a panic attack. We weren't even a quarter of the way through the Holland Tunnel. There's no aspect of go there to two lanes, two. driving as well as a taxi cab driver so there, there is that difference now they have speed limit regulations <laughs> probably because of people similar to Anna and those references oh well they have to get there safely and blah 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 in comparison yeah they get there oh but something can happen and blah 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 such as her that did that 
it's already difficult enough to get around. Those types of people just get out of the way. Just stop. You're not helpful. You think you are, you're not. You are the reason why there is so much bureaucracy in the various levels of government. Get out of the way. Like, that just, it, it literally, literally, I, tr I believed this as a child. <laughs> what do you mean the sea limits are going down? I'm growing up. <laughs> I want to drive. And so then it was, you're just like your mother. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> kind of better. <laughs> Let me understand this correctly. I'm blunt, straightforward to the point, don't waste time, handle business, and, you know, maneuver quickly. I'll take that in comparison to... <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> There's a car, you know, five lanes over that moved from one lane to another. How did you know? That is, this is what I grew up with. <laughs> so what is time? Well, you know, six hours from Illinois to Ohio. Yeah, that's what that pretty much feels as. There's a sensation to what time is listening to Anna in the car when Mike is driving. <laughs> In comparison, in every capacity of, mm-hmm, that seems about accurate. That seems pretty accurate. That seems like on the spot. You know what? Mike might probably agree that, you know, whenever he's had Anna in the car, you know, usually when he drives by himself or drove with me in that capacity, you know, it see, probably seemed as, you know, maybe an hour. <laughs> and the same distance. <laughs> Same version of traffic. Probably seems like six hours. <laughs> People who have those experiences, you know. <laughs> you, you, you have those references. <laughs> or maybe you know someone similar. And so... <laughs> Whichever capacity, whether more like Mike or, or Anna in those references, so, you know. The complaint between my biological little sister and I, my only biological sister for clarifications, was, You're so much like Dad! <laughs> You're a lighter earth, so I'm okay with that. I'm, I, I'd rather, I'd rather, I, I'll, I'll take that side over your side any day of the week. <laughs> I don't have time to slow down. That sort of, I'm sure there are those who know. <laughs> In those references. And all that time that she yip, 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 she had actually done something that was worthwhile in comparison to yip, 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 yip. So anyway, you know. <laughs> Similar aspects, depending on, so. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so what is time? <laughs> what can you accomplish in time? Depending on who you are, <laughs> um, when you have certain things you take in consideration compared to other factors, well, what is what do you consider as the time in those references? So, <laughs> so I'd, I'd gotten out to Ohio after the Jeep, the, the the driving and map quest. I had wound up in Iowa. And then had to turn around because I was not Indiana, obviously. And so, <laughs> then, which for those who, who have known me in person, face to face in person, <clears throat> at whatever point in time, but most specifically um, Illinois, obviously, so 1998 through 2000, and then the state of Texas, specifically from 2000 through 2012. Um, 
Mike and Anna learned about Indiana. They did not know about Ohio. <laughs> this point 
And I and so I get all, you know, mm, no, it's okay. Mm-hmm. No, it's fine. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I, I know I can handle the speed. I know that. And oh, oh, it's okay. I'm here. <laughs> jeans on uh, and just a regular t-shirt and some sneakers nothing I had changed out of my um, suit that I had showed up in it was a irony it was a gray business suit it was a dress suit and then it had a matching jacket and a thin but not spaghetti strap uh, top portion whatever it's called <laughs> square or empress cut and you know <laughs> get close and it's like, oh, so is that what you think? Oh, do you think that I couldn't handle speed? And he's like, you know, and he was in front of his friends, by the way, you know, um, going um, a few minutes or a few miles over the speed limit, what do you consider as a few miles? And he was like, well, you know, Five, ten, fifteen miles over the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, sure, you might think you're a little speed racer, but you know. So, those who have met me in person and know me, <laughs> you know what look I had on my face. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I have something to get out of my car. <laughs> and he, oh, okay, you gonna get a pack of cigarettes? No, 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 my pack of cigarettes are right there, hold on. I go, I, I go out and I'm just like, mm -hmm. read it. <laughs> and he looks at the piece of paper and he goes, that, that's today, or yeah, that's today. Mm-hmm. That, that's 127 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In a 55? Oh, that's just a few, few miles over the speed limit. Mm -hmm. So what is time? <laughs> of speed. <laughs> what is that? Is that, is, is that 5 or 10 or 15 miles? Or <laughs> is it 127 and a 55? That was capable to be picked up in that reference. <laughs> they had in 1998 in Indiana, or <laughs> that's the max that it went to, and to the radar technology system at that point in time. Who knows? <laughs> of time, what is time? 
what does it mean in that translation? Because if you take in consideration that I technically should, it, it, it really was about six and a half, seven hours of driving. Oh, I was driving a little fast, <laughs> except for in Chicago, which that's an annoyance when you really think about it, look at the areas as far as that's concerned. But anyway, um, so, but then there's also the time change zone area. To also consider. <laughs> and so it is what it is in those particular references. So, yeah. <laughs> but what is time? So, in the reference of the memes, and in comparison to dialogue.
is important about that and what is important about that. When you add the factors of regarding how people view meanings compared to gifts, compared to the movies and television shows, those who do the binge watching aspects as far as television shows or movies that have multiple series or what have you. Did anybody back in the 1980s, other than myself, see this point in time in the year of 2022? Maybe not necessarily specifically the year of 2022. However, my viewpoint was by the time of 2020, everybody will begin to have 2020 vision as to technology because I had gotten just exhausted by all of the different individuals I made attempts explaining what I could see, what I could tell, what I could notice. It was as it was during those times. So now, when you take in consideration from 2020 to 2022 and the known factors in regards of COVID, what is capable to be noticed per individual as far as what actually was worked on, what was accomplished per person, what was inhibited and why what was the actual reason as far as possibly excuse in comparison, depending on, because you got to acknowledge biases. You got to give the truth as far as intentions and the actual reasons. But what was actually individually accomplished per individual? What length of time during the COVID? Did you accomplish something major in a short amount of time, but that's because of your experiences and you were capable to do other stuff or go and relax or whatever it was? Or did you have a lot of stuff to take care of and did you take care of it? How did you take care of it? Was it done correctly? Is it accurate? So on and so forth. What was your focus during the time frame? What did you find that you learned about, got a new perspective, so on and so forth? Did you open your mind more? Did you expand your consciousness? Or did you recluse? What did you do? What was your choice? So in my viewpoints, I could see where technology was going to move rapid. And at a certain point, it was going to take off fast. It was going to just burst forward where all of that, despite the length of the time of the, in the scientific terms, Homo sapiens sapiens have been around. What's the next factor to take in consideration? So does it become, this is what I have thought, more along the lines of around 2010. I figured by the time of 2010, in the, within the near future from 2010, that memes were gonna be the equivalent of some television shows, that some television shows we're going to have just as much information in that to a Mimi, just one, and expound upon it in those references. Same thing in reference to movies, but what is time? Because in the year 2022, there's the COVID where People have had to distance and then focus on whatever they choose to focus on. But what did they focus on? What did they expand their consciousness in? So on and so forth. What was worked on? What was accomplished? What was achieved? So in the 
short amount of time, you have the consideration of younger children. And how fast are they going to be in regards of technology? So when, let's say someone has a child that's born today, the 15th of April, 2022, in an area where there's a, a decent amount of technology, maybe a desktop, a laptop, and a cell phone per parent. Is that child going to look at full-length movies that have series as the equivalent of a television series? Or is that child going to see that, as far as a series, as a gift in comparison to the information? I believe that it most likely will be a halfway point, possibly, if not fully, where they are capable to look and watch and listen to all those particular factors, absorb that information to understand the knowledge in the length of the time for a standard gift. That's where I see that going. But you know, that depends on whether or not <laughs> I've been accurate in different situations and what level of accuracy. So that's something to keep in mind, especially whether in regards of scuba diving, which there are factors that are associated with space. So what is time? Time is relative. So theory, in my opinion, some might see differently or depends on, I don't know what others opinions are, do leave a comment in the comment section and please be respectful with etiquette um, if leaving a comment in the comment section. What is your opinion? Where could you see that going? Make sure to like and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. I appreciate you listening and watching. Share my official YouTube link and go to my website, www.susanmealing.com. I hope that particular lecture I just gave had given a different perspective to think about as to the possibilities and maybe some other situations to take in consideration.